the number one crypto indicator you must have in your arsenal during a bull run. Hey, welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you made it by. My name's Jim. I'm a crypto trader and a Forex trader. I'm here to help you understand the market from an Elliott Wave perspective. Yes, I am promising the number one indicator you need to know in a bull run for to nail your trades, to get into trades confidently, um, so uh, to know whether uh, moves are going to continue or not. Um, guys, you have to know uh, what I'm going to share with you in this video. So watch it all the way to the end. And uh, don't, this isn't clickbait. Not over promising anything it is what you need okay all right let's jump in just don't forget this isn't financial advice never intended to be that just showing you how i look at the market and how i look at charts okay all right well let's uh let's refer back to as we jump into this content let's refer back to the last video that i shared okay it didn't quite play out the way i was planning on it and so the question is did i get stuck in a bad trade because i was looking to short uh or did i get out of it and what was the indicator that let me know actually to get out of the trade and uh, and i got out in profit so let's Let's talk about it. Well, let me just remind you of the last video. I had a snide comment from this dude uh, who I who I banned from the channel pretty much because, guys, listen, I don't have any time for people who are unkind. You guys know that I, we don't always get it right. Uh, nobody ever does. We're always looking at the market with the information that we have now, trying to see what's coming in the future, right? So, you know, that being said, you know, you're going to get it right sometimes and uh, your interpretation's uh, not going to be right sometimes. And all I can do is give you my interpretation where the market is right now, give you some possibilities and go from there. So anyway, with that being said, um, you know, I just had I just can't stand snide comments, uh, you know, where, where people are just so so lofty and they know always know better than you and, and say how you're wrong all the time. Yeah, whatever. But that being said, let me show you. Uh, I, I, I might be wrong. Right. I'm, 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 a, I'm aware of that. But do I have any indication? Do I have any indicators that are letting me know whether I should be uh, staying in the trade idea that I've put out there and that I'm trading, or should I get out of it? So let me show you. Well, so the trade idea was this: um, we had a move down, and I shared that, and then I basically said if we got a flat right here in the middle. We had a move up here, a flat in the middle, and I was expecting another move up, so that we got a three-wave move like that. Let me be a little bit more clear with that. Let's here's the flat in the middle. Okay, let me change my color and uh, kind of make it a little bit clearer to see. There we go, right there. And so I was expecting this move right here, come up here, break the top, FOMO everybody in, come back down, and that would be basically a uh, uh, basically a flat correction. It would be have a three-wave move like that, and then we'd be on our way. So I'm still expecting a bull a bull move, but uh, that was the way that was the shape that I was kind of anticipating and looking for as a as a trader. So what we did is since we had a clear uh, a clear entry here on this flat on this flat right here, we entered long right here and we rode that thing up. Okay, and I was like, "Hey, everything's looking good. It's coming to my target." Um, I had target. Let me show you where my targets were. Um, my target here would have been. Let me put my fibs on here. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. This is Ethereum, by the way. Uh, let's see. Right there. Make sure I got it on there. Good deal. There we go. So, make sure I got this. There we go. So. As we moved up, we, we, we nailed this bottom entry right here because it came to the one to one extension. It was beautiful, or one two seven, I can't remember, but it was beautiful. We we nailed this right in this consolidation zone, the entry, and we rode it up here, and we all had a nice trade in the group. It was fantastic. We loved it, and we took profit right here at this region. Now we were expecting uh, this move to then make a downward push and look what it started doing. It definitely came down. Evidently, there were other traders looking at the same thing. Well. <sighs> As this thing came down, the indicator that I'm telling you about, my golden indicator, my number one indicator for crypto, um, told me I should not continue in this short trade. Let me show you why I got out of the trade. I ended up cutting the trade in profit, uh, several dollars, and uh, you know it was it was a little scalpy type trade, but I got out with uh, no skin off my back. Now, what was the indicator? Well, the indicator, I've got three rules, basically. It's a three-step indicator. you got to understand RSI to do it. Uh, let me show you number one. So this is my golden indicator about to be revealed for the first time. Probably not new to some of you, but uh, definitely you need to know this if you don't know it. I'm sharing it with you now. Number one, I need to see, I'm always looking for three waves that's the first thing i'm looking for okay and if i was a little bit more uh more preparation i would probably have this slide already rocking but <laughs> i don't and that's how we roll around here number two as i'm looking for three waves i'm looking for them to measure uh 
I want them to measure correctively. Okay, if you don't know that what that means, please watch uh, my videos on corrections and Elliott Wave and my trading night schools. You can find a playlist under my channel. Okay, uh, but I need it to measure correctively. If you watch a little longer, I'll explain what that means anyway. You give a little tutorial here. And number three, I need to see hidden divergence hidden divergence that is key to this that is the key to all of this not just three ways not just measuring correctively but I want to see hidden divergence okay let's talk about why I got out of this trade well again I was expecting price to come on down uh, but once I saw what I saw with my indicator on the chart uh, I knew to get out of the trade let me show you where it was all right number one as uh, let me zoom into this wave right here analyze this wave with you on the three minute chart okay and I do guys I guys I look Look at the charts on the one minute, three minute, and five minute charts as it's moving because I want to see if I'm in the right trade or not, especially as I'm as right after I've entered. So the first thing I notice is that I've got a three wave move off the top. We got to move here, we got to move here, and then we got to move down like that. And you say there's three waves there. Let me measure it for you. Okay, and it came down to the one to one extension. So number one, we had three waves. Number two, it came to a corrective extension. There you go. Uh, the corrective extensions are the one to one and the one to seven extension. Generally speaking, there are more, but those are generally the corrective extensions. Number three, the nail on the coffin for my trade and why I got out of it, guys, it was this reason right here. When price is making a lower, a higher low there on that chart. Let me go back out to the 10 minute chart just so I can show you because it's easier to see it on the 10 minute. And get, by the way, we do trade on different time frames as well. We analyze on several different time frames and always watch in the market like that. Then we had on the RSI, we had lower lows. So we had higher lows on price, lower lows on, on RSI. That is what we call hidden bullish divergence, guys. That means this thing is, uh, <coughs> the RSI is uh, cooling off and is ready to make another move to the upside. But the cooling off period of the RSI could not push price down on an equal level. It diverged. That's why we call divergence. Uh, the price, the action of the, of the line of the trend diverged from the price line okay and so that's bullish divergence it's just one that not many people are are very aware of hidden bullish divergence after a three wave move that measures correctively guys is my golden trade setup guys it it tells me that i can enter long very very confidently because this thing is going to continue to the upside and so it did in this case let's take a peek at uh, some more places on the chart where we see three moves three wave moves uh, that measure correctively and have hidden divergence. Okay, let's just look at this a couple more times just to show you what we're talking about here. Okay, all right, let's go down to the five minute chart because a lot of times a lot of these waves are, are small in nature. Okay, let's look at this one for example. Uh, let's see, right, uh, this one will be a good one right there. Let's take a peek at that guy. Just hard to sometimes to find examples here. We've got a three-wave move right there. Perfect three-wave move. Um, we have, when we measure them, it measures to the one-to-one -one extension. Check mark number two is done. Now do we have the divergence that we're talking about? Well, we've got to zoom out just a little bit here and take a peek at what we got going on. we got uh, here from this price point right here up to here. We've got a higher low right there formed. Okay, and from the same peak, from the same peak on the chart down to the same peak, we have a lower low that is formed. Okay, three waves came down, higher lows on the price, lower lows on the RSI, got hidden bullish divergence. What happened right after that? Price continued up, made another high. Okay, and that was a move uh, from 354 up to 360. Not a huge move, but again, it's just showing you that this, this setup is telling you the direction. It's telling you where price is going so you can know if you're going to in a decent trade or not. Okay, let's uh, check out uh, some other examples that might be good to see. Let's let's look right here. There's a nice clear three-wave move. And, you know, you, you, while you're trading, always trade the best setups, right? So uh, here we have a beautiful three-wave move. Uh, there's three waves there. If you can't see them, let me highlight them for you. One, two, three, right there. Okay. Let me zoom in just a little bit here. Okay. So you got the three wave move. It came to the one to one extension, wicked down to the one to seven extension, had a rejection off of it. That's always a great indicator. But lo let's look at the divergence and see if the divergence is present. It is. From this peak, well, let's try it again. 
from this peak to that peak, higher highs, uh, excuse me, higher lows are being made, while the same peak on the RSI, lower highs are being, lower lows are being made. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Lower, uh, lower, lo higher lows on price, lower lows on RSI. Hidden bullish divergence, three wave move, measuring correctively, guys. That is a up move all day long. Okay, and we got the up move right there. Let's look at this three wave move that followed it. Okay, got the up move there. Got a three wave move right there. Okay, number one, does it measure correctively? Let's check it out. Measures to the one to one, one to seven extension. It's beautiful. Do we have the divergence? Absolutely. Right here, the divergence continues. We got confirmation that even though if we entered here, this came down to retest our entry, still looking good to the upside. Can we find any more examples? Well, yes. Yes, Jim. Yes, we can. Uh, <laughs> sorry, guys. Sometimes I just have a little bit of fun here. All right, there we go. Let's check it out. Okay, got a three-wave move. Don't like the three-wave move very much there, the way it's shaped. That's better shape right there. Um, let's measure it. Let's see if we can get a measurement on it. There it is. Boom, came to the one-to-one -one extension. That's a beautiful three-wave move with the one-to-one -one extension. Do we have the divergence on the chart? Let's check it out and see. Might be better to go down to a smaller time frame on that one to look at it. Okay, we got, uh, let's see, where can we find the, is the divergence present? You guys, I'm not even seeing the divergence present on this one. This one isn't a great, a, a great, uh, you know, indication there, uh, actually, on that time frame. Let's see if it's on the, on the, any, any other time frame. Sometimes you got to peek around to the other time frames to see, uh, see if it's making the divergence. Yeah, you can see how small it is here uh, on this chart that we, where, wait a minute, where was I? Can't remember where it was. <laughs> I was further up. There it is. Yeah, on this time frame, you have it. You have it pretty well. Um, right here, price is going up, whereas the same peak, price is actually staying uh, straight across. This is what we call exaggerated divergence. Okay, when when price goes straight across. Anyway, the point is that the RSI goes lower than the price does. Okay, and that's the key. That is the key, especially significantly lower. Not the best signal there. Uh, obviously, you're not going to find uh, that. the The next one is pretty good though. You can see the divergence really well. Right down here, we got uh, we got a lower move here, whereas um, let's see, yeah, lower move there, whereas the same place on the chart higher move right there so you've got you've got prices uh, making higher lows lower lows on the RSI again you have hidden bullish divergence okay so the hidden bullish is great but what you want to what you want to wait for is the three wave move that measures to the one to one extension three waves one to one extension hidden divergence guys that is your gold and trade indicator all right guys there you go uh, so let's just take a peek at current price action see if we can make some application here okay we got a pretty steep kind of a move here let me go down to the uh, I'm gonna go down to the two minute chart just so you can kind of see this price action here on the two minute chart but it's beautiful we had a, a pretty steep move off the top there we got a five wave there a three wave up and another five wave that's a five three five zigzag guys that's a three wave move all day long in Elliott world okay so you got a three wave move right here boom 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 okay then what do we got we got a nice reaction candle off of that that's always good it's good confirmation do we have the hidden divergence well let's check it out we got a we got a peak right here a peak right here and a peak going down right there the same peaks guys you always got to measure the same peaks just so you know price is making higher lows while our size making lower lows got hidden divergence on the chart all right, so there you go, guys. There is the golden indicator for direction and continuation. Gives you confidence in your moves. Don't forget, you still have to have good trading practices. Uh, you have to know stop losses. you got to understand when to cut trades, guys. And you have to understand that divergences can be wiped out with strong moves. So keep that in mind. This isn't 100%. No indicator is, but it's definitely an indicator that you need to have got good, consistent results over and over and over again in this market. Keep in mind that this move could continue up, guys, but it also could make another uh, zigzag down to the the downside this is a three-wave move you could have a little three-wave move right here that 
it's hard to see, but it's it's there. Uh, and then you get another three-way move like that before you go up. So con corrections can get complex. So keep that in mind. But uh, look, we did get the up move, and that would have been a tradable move right there, especially if you have enough account you trade enough dollars. Not trading enough dollars, you might only make a couple of dollars. But that being said, this indicator is telling you direction, okay? Three-wave move, Fibonacci's are corrective, and we got hidden divergence. All right, guys, there's the bit. Excuse me. There's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope that helps you. Make sure you learn that. You got to know that. You got to apply that to the market, guys. And uh, that's going to help you trading tremendously. Hope that helps. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day.